Snowboarding. Let's hit it. Be like Sean White. Yeah, we playing in the snow. Burr, burr. On you. Chilling by the fire while we eating fondue. Back to Twilight Princess Randomizer. We're skiing down a mountain. Or snowboarding. Ice boarding. Whatever you want to call it. This is like its own sport. It's not a shield. It's not shield surfing. This is before shield surfing. I would play a whole entire game just for this. I guess Breath of the Wild kind of. Breath of the Wild needs some cooler slopes to go down. Like they had cool slopes. What am I talking about? I'm just talking on my ass. Let's go. It's not playing the mini game music right now. It's keeping the chill ambience. All right, Snow Peak, Snow Peak. Here we are. Here we are. The very icy palace, ice mansion. How many keys do we have? We have one key for Snow Peak. That's it. Maybe this does this place have a lot of keys? Maybe it doesn't actually have that many. Oh, bedroom key. That's like the boss key right there, right? Can I beat it now? Whoop. Link's crossbow training versus. That's like one of those games. It's not really a versus game. That's like a game you actually play in person. And compete in. Ooh, bomb lanes. Sucks that we only have one bomb bag. Another bomb bag would be cool. Little guy hiding in the crack. Get the bombs out of here. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. It's a big, big table with lots and lots of food. It's a big, big yard where we can play football. It's a big, big house. It's a Yeti's house. Hey. Oh yeah. Another piece of heart. Well, that pull prediction is just crushing the people. At this point, I know every single worship song from the 90s and 2000s. Every single one. Play any worship song from the 90s and 2000s, and I will be able to kick right into gear. I was a Christianity fanboy, if you will. Uku again. Gracious. Major gracious. Oko's head always reminds me of those things that doctors use to test your reflexes. The knee knockers. Her head just has the shape of that thing. Uh, you'd be surprised by how much we all share the same exact childhoods. I think there was a lot less variety of influence that we were all influenced by than we realize. I feel like most kids growing up in the 90s and 2000s watched and listened to a lot of the same stuff. Because keep in mind, we actually grew up in the time before the internet. So the kids that are like alive now are getting way more variety in their childhoods than we did. We all grew up with the same like commercialized like television channels, VHS tapes, CDs, like Major predict production and distribution was pretty expensive, so not a lot of people were doing that when we were growing up. So we all kind of shared a lot of the same entertainment. Now there's like a, a million things for every single niche in the world to watch. You want to spend five straight years only watching documentaries about Japan? You can do that for free on YouTube. Like there's enough just like shit out there now. So I feel like kids nowadays are all going to have very different childhoods, which might actually make it a little bit harder for them to relate to each other. But I don't know. We'll see. I think it's going to be so damn interesting to watch the world progress throughout the age of social media. Doing this place with the ball of chains so early is so easy. <laughs> you just... You skip so much. You can go through so fast. 
Oh shit! A key for Snow Peak. How handy. Oh, poor thing. Major hits. That was a summer smash out. I guess more like a winter smash out. Killed these guys in like two seconds with it. The small ice creatures do nothing but hurt me, so they get nothing but hurt back. The plan, simple. <laughs> we race to Hades. Did you just word a versus like a Ludwig video? <laughs> okay, boys, the plan is simple. We're gonna be racing. First to be Hades wins. He's your actual biological father. <laughs> I believe it. I feel like he's a lot of people's biological father. Not mine. Ludwig is my brother. In crime. I thought it was like so crazy when they when Ludwig like talked about verses on his podcast and it fa came out that Ludwig used to be a, a versus fan. Which to be fair, a lot of his person action, personality kind of reflects that he was a Versus fan. Between like his style of humor, the fact that he does so many challenge type Versus type videos on his YouTube channel. It is hella sick, honestly. Super sick. Last summer I got to be in his Mario Kart Double Dash Invitational. It was like a LAN tournament. It was like a drinking game, so we had to drink like five beers during our race and get like really tipsy and uh yeah whenever i met him he was like holy shit like i used to watch all of your versus videos like about with you and josh back in the day and i was like hey and i watch lots of your shit nowadays the circle of content creation life I ended up teaming up with a dude named flex ninja who i believe is a valorant streamer he was a cool dude he was really nice Ooh, Postal. Do I watch The Yard? I've seen a little bit of it. I don't watch it regularly because I don't really I don't really listen to podcasts anymore too much. I prefer audiobooks more so nowadays. A bit more structured information. Less conversational. I like audiobooks because they're more like informative. They're like long form, really long form content, but it's more like Structured research information, which is pretty nice. I do not want to waste a key on that. Can I hit this? I liked podcasts when I used to like drive and commute more, but. I don't really do that anymore, so... <laughs> Am I gonna have to go around the long way? I have an Audible subscription, and each month with the Audible subscription you get another uh, audiobook to add to your library. And I have like 10 more audiobooks I can add to my library. So if anybody has like really good audiobook suggestions that I should add to my Audible, let me know. Hook a homie up with a good audiobook. I've mostly been like listening to audiobooks over the past year or two about like spirituality mostly. Different types of like spiritual health and stuff. And different levels of like, I don't know how to describe it. One of the most recent ones I listened to was The Power and the Secret by I think Rhonda Bynes is her name. Things in, and those are really, really good. But kind of things in that territory. But I've also been listening to some fiction stuff. Like I've been re-listening to Aragon. Um, Lord of the Flies. I got some Stephen King books. Kind of like a variety, I guess. 
I actually did listen to that one. I listened to Hank Green's An Absolutely Remarkable Thing. That one was really good. The one where like the news reporter becomes like worldwide famous over the course of like overnight because she reports on like a mysterious black stone obelisk that falls from the sky. Ow! Fuck you! At least I made the shortcut. <laughs> But yeah, the Hank Green book is really good. I recommend people listen to it. I think there's a lot of like interesting social commentary about how society will make people famous that don't deserve it and then use those people as figureheads for speaking points they don't actually know enough on to be speaking of. It's pretty much just about a, lady, a reporter who became like worldwide famous for being the first to report on a news story like on accident pretty much like she just didn't even know that what she was reporting on was going to be a big deal but then it ended up becoming like the most discussed news story like in the whole world and like updates needed to be given and like the whole world ended up like looking towards her for their updates because she ended up becoming just like the people that the human race decided was the figurehead because she was the first person to <laughs> make the video or like the news report about it. And then I think like certain... I think like the, some of the news events end up leading to some like... Not like terrorist attacks, but like... Acts of violence and stuff. And then people cast the blame on her for that, even though it's like not her fault whatsoever. It's actually like nobody's fault that all the fights and like the violence break out but since it's nobody's fault the only people they can blame is that lady that they associate with it so then all of a sudden there's like people like hating her absolute guts just because they associate her with a bunch of like terrible like acts that are happening and it's like crazy watching like society blame her for things that she has absolutely no impact on whatsoever but yeah, Hank, Hank Green does understand not just internet culture, but just culture in general, I feel. I've been watching the Vlogbrothers for a very long time. I've always liked their viewpoints and discussions on society. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! No. Did you know the Vlogbrothers are actually the ones who started VidCon? And they kind of got it up to popularity, and then they sold it to Viacom, I believe. And that's when VidCon started really going downhill and became way more corporatized. They've done, like, literally, Vlogbrothers are so inspirational. <laughs> Some of my biggest inspirations. Yeah, weren't they just doing a charity event? I'm, literally, I'm pretty sure I literally saw my subscriptions today. They were hosting a live charity event on YouTube. Ow, fool! That's crazy. Vlogbrothers raising like as much money as GDQ. <laughs> I did not realize that that project was raising so much money, honestly. Go. Perfect. We made it. Bottle of oil. The fourth bottle? That is all four bottles, baby. Come to Papa. The chandeliers do need some oil. <laughs> it's squeaky. All right, let's go fight some mini bosses. Also, I'm gonna save state again, just in case. Anxiety save state, because we don't trust technology. No, sir. We do for the most part, but not completely. Where's the, there's a chest right here, isn't there? Did I get it already? Maybe there's not one on that side. Hello, sir? Hello? Use your item against ya. Oh, fuck me. Hit that tail. 
I like how exposed his butt is. This lizard definitely a bottom. Yeah, I'm trying to backstab him. Let's go. <laughs> He's down. He's being submissive. He's <laughs> you show me the full moon right now. <laughs> What's it gonna turn into? Some alchemy transformation, and we get. No! No! Not like this! Bing, 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 bing. No! The cold wind is too much. I can't take it. Gotta go through the window. That's how we get into the door. That's right. Bug. Bug. Dude, I need the compass for this bitch. I do not remember where all the chests are. Here's the other one. Two bugs? This is the bug room, I guess. This room's totally bugging. Yeah, I have the boss key, so I can't finish the dungeon. And we will. We will be finishing our first dungeon today. Thank God. Thought we would never finish a dungeon in the randomizer. But all is not hopeless. Nope. It's hopeless for the little ice dudes. How many do we got? 33? Dang. That's a lot. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, we take it with a grain of positivity. Okay, we're almost done with this dungeon. I just need to take... Wait, do I need another key? I don't, do I? I actually might. Because there's the center room. It's... This room in the very center but on the second floor. We can't get in there. Which I think we have to do to be able to kill the Freezard that's blocking our way. I'm gonna circle around one time, but I might not be able to finish this dungeon right now. It's entirely possible. Can you open this now? No? Fine. Can I just like push these down? No, they have to be pushed the other direction. For sure, for sure. We can go into this room though. Who knows, maybe we'll find a key in here. Roy, Roy, Roy. <laughs> the map for the Goron Mines on the other side of the world. We found the map. Okay, I think that is all we can do inside this dungeon. I think we hit that cap. I'm trying to think, what can I do now? We're hitting a sort of a dry spell. All right, let's get out of this mansion. It's too cold in here. My nipples have been so rock hard for the past like 30 minutes, I can't take it. Let's pop on over to... Where do I want to go now? Oh God. Is, is Forest Temple the wave? Let's go check out Forest Temple again. It's been a long time since I've gone there. We might be able to do shit. We'll find out though. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey throw in their poo. 
Blues could do we can too. Okay, we have one key. I'm not sure if that's gonna make much of a difference for this place. But we'll f we'll find out. Wait, do I need the I need boomerang in here? Everything in this place is just boomerang stuff. Okay, this might be the only chest we can get in here at the moment. Magic armor? The magic armor was in the forest temple? That's hilarious. I'll take it though, I'll take it. It's beautiful. I think the colors are randomized too. Let's put it on real fast. That's random colors, right? That looks sick. Freaking hate how fast it drains rupees though. This thing fucking sucks. They should have... I wonder if they could have patched that in the randomizer. That would be a nice quality of life upgrade. Make it so magic armor doesn't drain your rupees or only drains rupees whenever you get hit. That would make much more sense. Only drains when you get hit. I think it already does that. I think it already does extra drains if you get hit. So it's just, a, it's just too excessive. It's not worth it. It's not balanced well with the rest of the game. It's better to just go to a fairy fountain and get four fairies than it is to wear magic armor. Have the magic armor use lantern oil. That's what it should use. Fill it with lantern oil. Coming here was kind of a waste of time, but I'm gonna go to the... Temple, can I go to the temple at time? I think so. Let's go find out. It's one of my favorite men to jump segments. I always thought it was so cool how they hid something down here with Midna. Oh, what? All the way back here. At least I like this part. Oh, we just found a couple more bugs we can turn in, so we can we can go there later. Pretty much I go back to Agatha anytime where it's like kind of convenient for the most part, because you never know when she's gonna have something good. Do you not have to do this a second time, I guess? I guess they cut it out. Cool. I like that. Redoing this is not my favorite. I don't know how to get through though. I'm gonna get so lost. I don't think I've ever like seen a map of this Lost Woods before. I have no idea how it's like laid out. Tears of the Kingdom is gonna be great. <sighs> I'm just gonna stream a lot and then once Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I'm gonna keep on streaming and I don't know. I'm just gonna really go in on this stuff this year. I'm not gonna hold myself back the way I normally have been. Let's go sink the sword. Did that do it? Can I go in Temple of Time now? Oh shit. They're out to play. Shadow Beasts don't stop, they don't quit. Is there another one? Ooh, we got them both. He walked into the perfect time. Thank you. Okay, now we can just teleport out here. Much better. There's just the tip. Just tip your your servers, your waiters, your Uber drivers. Tip your streamers. Tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. Oh wait. Don't want to forget my golden bugs. The buggity boos. The buggities and the ruggities. Wait, is that the coral earring? Oh, I fell for it. Why did I fall for it? I already had that, I already had that item. Wait, what was back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Treasure chests. The goopy guys, it's the goopy. Oh, silly little guy. 
Come on, Marthew. His name is Marthew. <laughs> it's like Marth and Matthew combined. Marthew. Hey! Don't run from me. I munched. Rock candy. Too good. Oh yeah, we're not even in the dungeon yet. This is the real dungeon. Magical rainbow stairs. Out of very shiny nose. What keys do I have here? No boss key, two small keys. That's what we have. Oh, so close to landing on it. That's the attacking toucan's way, solving the most difficult puzzles that you've ever seen. We're mapping. City of the Skies map. Oh, cool. Hello. Good to see you again. My best friend. Two keys. We'll see how far two keys take us. I don't know if I can place these down, can I? Oh, you can. Cool. Perfect. Ah. I think bombs are my least favorite thing to find. All it takes is a couple of slices. Just a couple. Hey. You woke up, Jerry. Ah, he's gone crazy. Jerry's gone crazy. He's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, now we have three bugs. Now we're starting to pop. Starting to pop, drop, and roll. Arrow refill. My favorite dungeon music in this game. I like Arbiter's Grounds ambience quite a bit. I feel like in general, Twilight Princess music ambience isn't as... Uh, distinctive in Twilight Princess as it is in some of the other Zelda games. It's way more ambient than it is like actual music. It's not like the Ocarina of Time dungeon songs. This room is so weird. It's like one of the weirdest rooms ever. Oh wait, are we stopped up? Oh shoot, yeah, no spinner. We're done here. Crap. That, this dungeon ended fast. I forgot we need the spinner to go up this room. All right, let's go give our bugs to Agatha. This randomizer is starting to get a little bit difficult. That's for sure. Let's see, what can I do though? It's kind of, I guess Agatha has three checks. That's our best bet at the moment. I guess technically I could probably get into Lake Bed Temple, but I don't have the Zora armor, so I probably don't need to. I don't think it would expect us to go into Lake Bed Temple before Zora armor. That wouldn't make much sense. Dude, stop peeping. Been doing that the whole entire game. Why's it gotta be so creepy to Agatha? All right, what bugs we have? We got the stag beetle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a pair. No! You bitch. 
All right, Ladybug. Come on, Ladybug. Give it to us. Give it to us right. Yay, postal. I'm not sure why I got excited about that. I'm just trying to be positive, I guess. Ew, really? Multiple postals? Gross, get out of here. I'm gonna go to Tuma's bar again real fast, see if there's anything new happening there that I might have missed. Oh. oh my, if it isn't Link. You made it somehow. Hey. Everyone look, oh yeah, she's talking to her invisible friends. I always thought there was more you could do in Tuma's bar. But I guess there isn't. I'm gonna go back to... Kakariko. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can do inside the shaman house. I know one thing I can do, I think. I think I need to buy underwater bombs, but let me just go ahead and buy underwater bombs. That's probably a good idea. Epona! What a lovely name it is. Wait, Telma's here now. Telma, how'd you get here so quickly? Can you teleport too? I'm concerned. Wait, why can I do this? I don't know. I don't know exactly what opens up certain checks. Well. I wonder if I can go talk to the prince in the graveyard. Is it open? It's not open yet? What? Oh, I didn't realize the wolf was here. Okay, that works. At least there's something to do here. You're looking the wrong way, Link. You dumbass. Will we finally learn a different type of move? You got it. Aya. A purple. Mm, that's mean. Come on. All right, y'all. I think that's going to be the rest of Twilight Princess Randomizer for tonight. I think I need to stop playing and think about what else I can do because I'm at a loss at the moment. We need a fresh play session. But thank you all for watching Twilight Princess Randomizer. Y'all the best. Y'all the best. Hit that thumbs up button. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Just want someone to believe